Hello and welcome back to another Jacob's Arcade Videos. Today we are sporting a 1999 Sammy Deer Hunting USA by Sammy Corporation. Uh, I should say a uh, Sammy Deer Hunting USA conversion. This used to be a Sammy Bear and Moose Arcade until the owner of this, uh, which we got uh, this arcade in Oakland, Nebraska for um, 150 bucks for the pair of the Hoop It Up World Tour as well as the Sammy Deer Hunter USA. Um, he ended up changing out the uh, EEPROM chips out of that, so uh, he converted his cabinet essentially to a Deer Hunting USA uh, game. And then he also has um, inside here Wing Shooting USA on a similar chip set. Uh, however, I've never used that at all. I've just kept the uh, Sammy Deer Hunting USA. So let's, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we've done to the machine. Um, and how, we, uh, how it's uh, been working so far. So I got this machine roughly about three, three or four years ago with that uh, Hoop It Up World Tour. And when we got the game, it had a horizontal collapse. So we had about that much screen to play with. However, you could see the game operational. And we also had a red, uh, red tint going across it. So none of the blue, uh, blue or green was coming through on the CRT monitor. Um, we have a local guy here in town that still luckily pairs CR, uh, CRT monitors. So what he did was, when I took in the entire backboard, um, I ended up saying that it needs just a new, um, needs a new cap kit. And he ended up looking and said, not only does it need a new cap kit, but it also needs some new soldering points. So for about 50 bucks, I repaired the back of the, of the board, put it in, and it, it, it's a bit, it got very close to what you see today. However, we still had the red tint there. So he ended up coming out for a 12 pack of beer and he ended up putting this little device on that cleaned out the inside of his CRT tube. And it was super nice of him. So I want to thank Clarkson TV here in uh, Columbus. A huge shout out there. Um, just thank you very much for what you do. And then one of the few guys that still does repair CRT monitors. So very good job, uh, Weasel. Thank you so much for that. Um, next, we ended up putting our marquee on. There was no marquee when I purchased this machine, so the good old people of eBay, I ended up purchasing this um, this marquee, and we trimmed it down to size and put it uh, up to where it needs to be. And then, of course, with all of our games, we put on a momentary off-on switch to credit up our machine. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration, so we now have one credit. And then we also, um, for um, not only keeper's sake, but we also, to do this machine right, we took apart the entire gun and cleaned out all the gunk and everything uh, that was inside of that machine for a while. Uh, we still yet have yet to clean that inside uh, holster there, but one of the big things that I can tell you about these guns are you can buy them very, very cheap off of eBay, sometimes for less than 40 or 50 bucks, sometimes for 20 non-working. Um, these games have a little lens. I know it's going to be very tough to see, if impossible, but there's a lens on the inside part of the gun, and on that back end, there's a little little light diode that shoots through the lens. If that lens is dirty, people will sell these as non-working games. So if you ever buy one of these and it's not working, highly advise taking it all apart and cleaning that lens, and that'll save you a lot of time and a lot of money. That's about 90 to 95% from what I've been reading um, that goes wrong with these games. We also put a couple of new buttons on there as well. Um, the only one that works, because uh, since this is a one player game, uh, would be this player one. Where should we hunt today? As always with the rifle, you can always have to lock and load. So we are going to go right here. And I'm only gonna go two sides for the sake of time. So we don't want to shoot that. We just shoot. Oh. And sometimes it, the game acts so weird. That if you get a deer that's deer running and you'll shoot it and you shoot it anywhere, it'll fall over. So in that case, it's not the most realistic, but it, it, it works. So um, keep going. There's also a little test switch on the inside Where can we take of the this thing? of this here. If you go on this inside, there's a little uh, test switch that if you ever need to. Uh, work the game any, uh, adjust the gun, 
or adjust the tint or the color or anything, you can do that from the inside, which is a really nice innovation part, uh, at least this cabinet. There we have it. That bunk is made in here or too old. Alrighty, and as always, if you need any help with similar games or similar issues, I will try my absolute best to stay on my YouTube page and help you out wherever you need. This has been my Sammy Deer Hunting USA conversion, uh, conversion cabinet. I hope that you have a good rest of your day. If you have any questions, just let me know. Other than that, have a rockin' one.